So this is a question I've been seeing going around Twitter recently. It was posted by Dave Scheid, just asking the general questions for creators. So the, the actual question he posed was comic creators. What's something that you now know that you wish you knew when you first started making comics? There are many things I wish I'd known when I started making comics. I was young. I was 17. I was naive. I was baby. I didn't know what I was doing. But since then, now that I am an old 25-year-old who is recovering from surgery and wandering around the house like an old lady, here are some things I've learned about comics that hopefully you, young one, will know going into your own comics. Firstly, I've said this many times on this channel. I've seen it going around everywhere. I think it's pretty commonly known amongst comic people. But when I started, I thought I was the exception to this. The advice goes, don't start with a huge project. Your first comic, keep it small. Don't do anything huge because inevitably, I don't know, you're going to get tired of it. You're going to be stuck with a comic where you began, say, writing it, not knowing what you were doing or how to write an engaging story. You might write something that's really broken. You might find yourself hating the artwork later. There's many reasons why doing a big, huge comic for your first comic where you know, you're learning a new skill. It's not a very good idea. You might regret it later. Um, I certainly did. Our first comic was supposed to be thousands of pages long. I think we ended it kind of quickly at 500 pages, a little prematurely, because uh, the story was very flawed and the art was very flawed. And we wanted to work on other things. So yeah, learn from my mistakes. Make your first comic short. In comics, short means like, 200 pages. <laughs> so that's still a lot. It's still a lot you can work with. Just don't do like your thousand page epic or do it. I don't know. I don't care. I wish I hadn't when I first started. So there you go. Secondly, this is one I am currently struggling with, though I know the true path to be on at this point. I really wish I hadn't put so much of my self-worth on my output for my comics. I used to, and I still do, <laughs> but it was way worse when I was starting out. I, if I ever didn't put out a comic page on time or I fell behind on these like huge goals that I had, I would just feel so awful. I'd just feel like garbage. I'd feel like I'd failed Bones. I feel like I'd failed myself. It was just terrible. I thought I'd let everyone down and I was really mean to myself whenever I'd fall behind. And that's just really terrible. That's like a terrible way to live. Um, because honestly, if I miss a comic page, no one really cares. I mean, sure, some people will ask like, hey, where's the page? Or is this comic dead? Or what's going on? But it's not the end of the world. It's not like these people are gonna hate me. And I don't know, there's way bigger fish to fry. It's like my boss at my day job, he used to tell me like, we're not curing cancer or saving babies. We're doing something that's pretty inconsequential in the grand scheme of things, so don't worry too much about it. So I've had to really readjust my thinking and not berate myself whenever I wouldn't hit one of my comic goals. And yeah, just be a lot nicer to myself and a lot more forgiving. And that that's really important when you are, you know, working on your own projects. Another thing I wish I'd known when I first started comics was I wish, I wish I hadn't wasted so much time up front worrying about things I didn't know at the time. Because when I first started out, I'd spend forever, you know, designing a page layout or designing characters. And at the time, I had no idea what the heck I was doing. There's still things I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of guessing at it, which is legit. That is a strategy. It's fine. I'm fine. But when I first started comics, I would just like agonize over this stuff. I find I still do it when I begin like a new project where I'll just sit there and I'll just like nitpick a design I'm working on or like just assume I'm doing something wrong or it just take forever before actually starting the project. It's almost like I don't know I was self-sabotaging and not wanting to start but I just spent forever doing this prep work making a page perfect or something like that and in the end it didn't matter because a year after making it, I'd look back and be like, oh, here are all these mistakes, but because I've worked on so many other comic pages or character designs since then, I understand what's wrong. So, like, what was the point of freaking myself out at the time? I should have just made the character, 
made the page layout and been done there and just gotten it out. I think it's really important to just finish something you're working on, even if it is just like a character design or an illustration or, you know, finish a comic project, but finish something because you don't know what you don't know until you do it. So don't, don't spend, don't waste your time worrying about it now. Just start the project, finish it. Your next one will be better. <laughs> I really wish I just like had that frame of mind instead of worrying all the time. <sighs> and the other thing I wish I'd known back then was it doesn't have to be perfect because honestly in comics, even like my favoriteest comics ever that I think are honestly like the best and perfect and I love them, there are occasionally panels where things look weird or um, things are wonky. This happens a lot in my own comics as well and I would always worry about it and overwork things and rework pages or panels when honestly the things that look weird or wonky are fine. They still get the point across of what I'm trying to say or what needs to be shown on that page or in that panel. So instead of worrying about it, I really just shouldn't. <laughs> Comics take so long to make. It's really not worth worrying about little things and little panels that no one, you know, no one's going to notice if something is wrong They're, or they won't care. They're not going to care as much as I do. So just get it done, young Ursula. God, stop worrying all the time. So I guess the final thing I really wish I'd known when I first started comics was that there's no perfect way to market things and get your comic like into people's hands or in front of their eyeballs or whatever. I used to think when I first started, like I'd, I'd go to panels at comic conventions and listen to all the experts and like people in the comics field and try to understand like how to break in and how to get people to read your stuff. And honestly, there's no right way to do it. <laughs> um, and I remember I used to think, like, if I updated my comic, like, regularly or at a specific time on, like, specific websites, uh, I would get more traction. You know, if I put an advertisement here, I would get more traction. But honestly, I don't know what works and what doesn't. I don't think a lot of people do. Having worked in marketing at uh, my day job for stuff that is other than, you know, my own personal projects, it's also kind of just shooting in the dark, seeing what sticks. There's no right or wrong way to do it. And anyone who tells you they know the exact perfect way to market something, they are probably wrong. <laughs> um, a lot of it is just kind of making stuff that is fun to make and waiting for lightning to strike. And that's really disheartening. And that probably would have discouraged me a lot when I was starting out. But it's also kind of a relief now to know that it is out of my control and it's just better to have fun, make things I want to make, um, and if people like it, they'll come and read it. And so far that's worked out for me. This isn't to say like never ever market your work and just sit in a hole and never show it to anyone because if you do that, no one's going to see it. But if you, you know, put it out there, eventually lightning's going to strike. Don't worry about it is basically all I'm saying. It's really difficult and you're not a bad person and your comic's not bad if you don't have a lot of people looking at it right away. You know, most most of the big comics you know of, you know, it took years for them to take off. So don't, don't worry about it. And I really wish I'd known that because that was another thing I used to worry about a lot uh, when we first started out was, you know, getting views up, getting more readers, getting... I don't know, published so we could get more books out to people. But in the end, no one knows what they're doing. Don't believe the lies. So yeah, those are some things I wish I'd known when I first started making comics. Comics have become a lot more fun the more I've kind of let go of being a perfectionist and worrying and tying my self-worth to my work and pushing really hard to market things. The more I've focused on just like having fun making the art <laughs> like the better it's been um so i'd really recommend just focusing on making a story that you really like and have fun with it because all the worry doesn't really get you anywhere <laughs> so that's all i got that's what i wish i'd known comics is a journey
my guys. I've been having some downtime, as you know, because I had a cold earlier and then immediately went into surgery <laughs> this past Thursday. Nothing, nothing life-threatening. Don't worry, guys. Um, just getting some quality of life stuff taken care of. I got a laparoscopy to deal with some endometriosis. But that it all went well. My surgery went awesome. Um, I am on the mend. I'm one week out from surgery today and I've got most of my mobility back. Um, and I'm off from my day job to rest and recover and I've been having a good time. I've been getting lots of nine point done, working on the Moonlight Anthology because I'm doing a lot of the interior work for that book, like designing the, uh, the type and the page layouts and stuff. So yeah, it's been good. I'm definitely feeling low energy though. <laughs> my voice feels like butts. Bones is also sick, so he got the cold that I had before my surgery. So he was gonna do a video today, but he is feeling way too sick. So here's my video. So thank you so much for listening. Let me know what you wish you'd known when you started comics. And if you're new to comics, what are some things that you want to know? Ooh, ooh. let me know in the comments. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching.